Welcome everyone to how to play Millie Fury. Each player will choose one of the four colours, they'll take the tiles out and return three to the back. One player will be passed the first player card. Each player will put their ship on the starting space of the ship track and they'll put their points marker on the 100-0 space of the score track. Shuffling the cards, a number will reveal to create a bonus market with the amount depending on the player count. Each player is then going to be dealt 5 cards for the starting round. The way the game works is you look at your hand of cards, choose one of them to play, putting it face down on the table and passing the rest on. So in this case you choose one card of the 5, pass the 4 on and then in that round when it's your turn you'll be playing that card. There are 6 parts to the board so let's go through them individually. Playing a workshops card, you take one of your glass tokens and cover up a matching symbol. You score points depending on the number of your connected pieces, so when you're placing just one it will be one point, but in future turns you can build next to it and maybe score two, three or many points. When you've covered at least one of each of the four types in the workshop, you'll score bonus points. If you place the third tile around one of the bonus icons, you get to take a card and activate it from the bonus market, and we'll come on to that at the end. The next section is this purple residences area. If you play one of the key cards, you'll place one of your glass tokens onto the next spot. You score the number of points indicated on that space, and on future turns, if you play another one and it connects to one of yours, those points add up. When you've covered 3 or 5 unique numbers on this track, you get to take one card from the bonus market, and when you've covered 4 unique numbers, then you can cover up the bonus scoring for this area. There are two townspeople sections, these are slightly different coloured greens, but they work in the exact same way. When you play a card, you may place one of your glass tiles over any of the symbols, however, if you cover over a matching symbol with the card you're playing, you double the number of points that it's worth. The points are based on how high up the pyramid it actually is. Whenever you create a small pyramid, it will actually score all the things below it, not just for you, but potentially also for opponents. When you finish one of the tall pyramids, you actually get to take a bonus card from the market, and when you've covered the three unique symbols, you'll gain bonus points. As I said, the two different sections of the townspeople work the same way, just with different symbols. Playing a card for the trade area sees you covering up one of the available spaces of that commodity. You instantly score some points, and this is based on how many of that type have already been covered. However, note you'll also be scoring points for other players that have previously placed there. So for instance this would be 2 points to both players. In this trade area, if you score an opponent more points than you get, it's called a good deal, and you get to take a bonus card from the market. As with the other sections, once you've placed a tile onto each of the four unique symbols, you can cover up one of the bonus spaces. The final section, the harbour, has two parts to it. First of all, you'll be moving your ship along the ship track. You'll instantly score points based on the space that you end up at, not the ones you pass by and some of these spaces offer bonus market cards instead of points. In addition, you'll also be putting one of your glass tiles onto one of the harbour spaces. This doesn't instantly gain you any points, but when the three spaces of that ship are full, then it will set sail and score points. It scores based on the number of commodities in that row, up to a whopping 10 points. When playing a card you can always discard it and instead use it for its alternative move value. This moves your ship along the ship track but does not see you place a token onto where the card would normally suggest or onto the harbour area. It can be very helpful though to score big points. Whenever you get to take a bonus card from the market, you choose whichever one you want. You play it basically as an additional card using it exactly how you would normally, it's like a double turn. So once everyone's played their card it'll be on to the next turn. This continues until the end of the round when everyone has only two cards, they'll choose one to play and discard the other one into the bonus market. 
The starting player card is then passed on clockwise, with a new round beginning with everyone being dealt 5 cards. The game ends when the draw pile ends, or one player has placed all 27 of their originally available tiles. They'll still be able to place those extra 3, but either way, at the end of that round, the game ends. At that point, whoever has the most points wins, and if there's a tie, both players win. And that's how to play Millie Fury.